What's up, everybody? It's Merman Mike. Um, we're actually on our way to Napa, California right now. It's me and my beautiful girlfriend. Um, it's about two hours away from where we live, and we got a message from a guy on YouTube. He actually saw one of my videos and left a comment, and he said he crashed his drone in Lake Berryessa. Um, so we're gonna go out there and look for that. He said he had a GPS. He knows exactly where it is He actually has footage on it from his GoPro of it going down. So that should be pretty cool to see. Yeah, it should be a really good day The weather is Not making up its mind really, but regardless of what it looks like we're gonna go in the water when we get there I mean unless there's lightning obviously, but I can't see that happening and uh, Yeah, we should definitely get a drone today if all else fails, we're going to give it our best shot though, so stay tuned and uh, I'll see you when we get there. What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I'm out here at Lake Berryessa in Napa. Um, Got my buddy Terry with me, my beautiful girlfriend, and we got Ray driving the boat that he was nice enough to let us use, and uh, Garrett, who actually contacted me. The victim. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Garrett lost his drone. I'm gonna let you guys, uh, or let him tell you guys how he lost that. And uh, yeah, here's the story. Um, so I was using one of the, the uh, pre-programmed um, uh, cinematography features on the drone where it's supposed to do a helix motion around me. Uh, it started about five or six feet off the water, and it's supposed to return to where it started from when it was done. Uh, and it did. It, it, it started in the same area, but it never stopped at the altitude that it was supposed to stop at, and it just went nice and easy right into the water before I could uh, get on the controls and stop it and sank like a rock. So. Well, you never want to hear something like that. Um... I always try to put myself in other people's shoes. I'd be super bummed. Luckily, Garrett does have a warranty, but unable to be able to make that warranty work, he actually has to have that drone to turn in. And uh, he was smart enough to actually be able to have it all on footage. He had the GoPro actually capture where it landed and he marked it down to where he lost it, which is super important. If you guys ever lose anything, immediately mark it on a Google Maps or anything. But uh, so yeah, he knows exactly where it is. We should be able to find it with no problem and uh, be able to return that back to him. But if you guys have never been to my channel before, what I like to do is I go down to the local lakes and rivers and uh, not so local lakes and rivers now, but I try to return any sort of valuables to their owners and I try to pick up all the trash while I'm down there as well. Thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasure and you always have to get the trash. Is that the island over there? Yeah. Oh, multiple islands. See, Terry's going to the Channel Islands. But right now, we're going to the Nap Islands. <laughs> what do you think about my dad jokes? They need improvement. Perfect. Just tie it on there and heave it up. Or... If I ever get YouTube famous, I'm gonna have to get me a bass boat. <laughs> it's like the perfect flat surface to actually put your stuff on, yeah, trash nice. or treasure. Hopefully more treasure. <laughs> Alright everybody, finally made it across the lake. Started over there. This is the island we're at. He lost the drone right over by this bush. It's a little bit outward, so we're going to search that area. Um, our visibility is not too bad. You guys are looking for that video too. It's also up on his channel, GC Bassin. Um, you guys want to go check that out. I heard it's pretty funny. I mean, not for him, but <laughs> if it's not your drone. Uh, <laughs> but hopefully I can get that back for him today and we'll be able to get that return to the warranty people and get a new one for him. Yeah, this is just super awesome. So hopefully we can find it pretty fast and we'll have some time to search for some treasure too. But our main goal today is just to find that drone. All right, stay tuned. All right, everybody, going down. Are they 
dude, that was the fastest dive I've ever done. <laughs> wow. Oh. That's awesome. It's all about who you know, right? Oh, it was on the bottom. Yeah, I just ran into like two of these underwater and it didn't let me go forward, so I went left a little bit and there it was. There you go, boss. Look at that, man. Right on. Oh, Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you guys, appreciate it. We can do a little quick search right here over back to the boat, basically. Yeah. And then uh, do that. That way, I know you guys have been out here all boarding as well. Oh, it's fishing, man. It's our day off. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Thank you so much for getting a hold of me. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. That was great. That's like literally the best case scenario. Oh yeah. And it was exactly what I was hoping for because he said he knew exactly where it was. And when Karen, the lady that I got the camera for, when she knew exactly where it was, we just got in the water and that was found. So the rest of the day is just literally bonus. Right. Now I kind of want the metal detector. Thank you so much. No oh, that was pretty cool. Oh, but that was on camera. <laughs> All right, Terry. All right. Let's go see what else we can find. Whew. It's a good day, people. That is so beautiful. It's gonna be a little bit low because you're still in a waterproof case, but yeah, this is what one of those umbrella rigs should look like that I found. And these are what the actual little grubs look like before they get all swelled up or whatever happens to them. That's too cool. What are the odds you'd have one? <laughs> I guess on a bass boat, pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, we are uh, headed on back across the lake. Found the drone really fast. I think that was actually the fastest dive I've ever done. Uh, yeah, it's been a really awesome day so far. We're gonna do a little bit more searching when we get over there next to like the day use area and whatnot. But I'm also gonna do a little outro with Garrett and interview him a little bit about uh, how he felt when he lost and how it feels now that he has it back. But yeah, I'm loving it today. Anyhow, I'll see you guys when we get to shore. What are you? It's an otter! It's an otter. It's an otter. Oh, it's too cool! <laughs> Alright guys, got done with our dive out here with Garrett. He's got his drone back. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to take a couple seconds, talk with him a little bit, and uh, yeah, just ask him a couple questions. Like, uh, I mean, basically just how did you feel when you first lost it? Well, it happened really early in the day. Um, probably within the first two hours that I was out here, so... Uh, it was tough to kind of salvage my day out here. Um, I was pretty bummed, obviously. I just got this for Christmas. I was uh, really planning on incorporating a lot of the shots from this drone into my videos for the future. And first time out over the water, even though I had practiced a lot, um, right into the drink. So that was really uh, <laughs> a tough pill to swallow. Oh, I can only first, imagine. First trip out. Um, and then, you know, I, I got rear-ended in my truck on the way home on that day, too. So it was just, it was the day of days. And then why was it so important to actually get the drone back itself? Um, well, I, I did thankfully purchase a, a warranty for this. However, you have to, ha you have to send them the physical um, damaged drone in order to get the new one. Otherwise, um, yes. naturally, they'll be, you know, subject to people trying to scam them into yeah. getting extras. For Throw theirs in their closet. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I, I contacted uh, the manufacturer and explained the situation to him and, you know, that it's still something, unfortunately, where it's kind of ironclad. You have to uh, return the damaged product in order to get the new one. That's how, that's how it works. And so that's why this was, you know, so important. And that's why I'm really glad that I, I had my alternative footage where I knew the exact area where it went down. And that turned out to be extremely helpful today. Uh, we were able to find it in, I think, less than five minutes. We literally went down and we went out. I made a left turn and there it was. 
And uh, yeah, if you guys ever lose things, please make sure you guys always mark where you lose them and try to be as detailed as possible. Try to also come up with some sort of landmark so you can tell where you were and maybe line that up with another landmark on shore. That way you can tell what line it's in as well. But uh, yeah, it was an absolute pleasure. I'm so glad I got to give that back. Thank uh, you so, so much. So thankful for, for you guys coming out. Um, Absolutely. On such short notice too. Not a problem. I always love to help in uh, any way I can. This seemed like a pretty good thing to help with. So. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll get you out on the water later this year and we'll get you on some fish. Definitely. Um, we're actually planning on doing a collaboration where I go out with him. He, Like I said, he's got a channel, GC Bassin. Go check that out. And uh, we're going to go do a fishing video later on in the spring or the summertime. And that should be pretty cool because I've been wanting to do a fishing video. So uh, thank you again for Ray. Thank you for letting us use your boat. Thanks, Dad. It's extremely helpful. Yeah, that's his dad. Yeah. We're going to go out over here and see what that has to offer. But uh, yeah, I'm having a really good day so far. I know Terry is, my girlfriend. Man down the fort like usual, but... Yeah, should have some good results, so stay tuned. Woo! All right, everybody. So we're done with the second part of our dive. Um, we went out here, we searched the swim area in hopes of finding any sort of sunglasses, trash, anything basically that people would drop while swimming. And uh, we didn't have too many results, but we did get a couple neat things. And I'm gonna show you guys those right now. I found this uh, sweet pair of what looks like children's sunglasses. Got another child's mask, which is pretty cool. Uh, got another strap to what looks like a mask or a pair of goggles. I found this while actually searching for the guy's drone. It was right after I found the drone. We were uh, looking around with the metal detector and I always like to kind of hit the plants or the base of the plants with the metal detector because that's where things are going to get snagged up on. And yeah, we found this and uh, the guy from the boat, Ray, he actually had a brand new one that he was able to show us. So I'll make sure to show you guys that one as well so you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like, not all this grossness. But uh, yeah, the other things we found, I made sure to get all this fishing line out because I found a bunch of that. We got a couple of bottle caps. Terry got some as well. Both Terry and I found bottles filled with rocks. I'm assuming that was just children having fun, but yeah, we thought it was interesting. And then Terry found this shoe. What are those? And then yeah, this is all the trash we found. Didn't find a whole bunch and uh, it's never a bad thing. I mean, it just means this area either doesn't have a lot of people throwing trash in it or it actually has people that come around and clean this area up on an occasional basis. But uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with today's dive. Found that guy's drone in literally less than five minutes and that was amazing. And found a couple cool items too. And uh, do you have fun, Derry? Had a great day today. Awesome. Well, anywho, guys, if you guys like that video, please remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend. Always helps me get out here and make more, and it always helps me find more people's valuables to return to them. Don't forget to enter into that giveaway I'm doing right now. This is probably going to be your last chance to do so. I'm going to be putting the details below on uh, how to do that. So check those out and make sure you guys enter before it's too late. All right, everybody, this is where your trash is supposed to go. They have people stealing the lids. Till next time, everybody. Take care.